morning, everyone. Welcome to another episode of Council Chat on Channel 56. I'm Mayor Kel Palguda, and uh, this episode is going to be focusing on the Yavapai County Food Bank. And in studio today, we have the president of Yavapai County Food Bank, Mr. Bob Wilson. So, Bob, thanks for joining us. Well, it's my pleasure. We appreciate you recognizing the food bank. Yes. I, we need lots of people who are in need to, rec you know, to recognize us yeah. and come and see us. You did. No, no. So we're going to talk about that. So I've known you for a long time, right, Bob? Oh, yeah. That was fantastic. We enjoyed you coming. You didn't come once. You had, couldn't stand it. You came back a second I time. I did. And we're going, to, we're going to talk a little bit about that. But so, Bob, how long have you been or the Yavapai County Food Bank? How long has it been in the community? It's been 28 years. Okay basically all the time. Yes. This is, the reason for it is, is we serve the whole county. Right. It puts us close to the freeway. No, no, that's good. And it puts us where we serve the whole county, which means the people can come there. A lot of them can't afford a lot of gas. No, 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 that's true. Because when I was volunteering there, so there'd be people that would gather up from their community, like That's whether they lived right. in Ash Fork or Seligman or North Paulden, and mm -hmm. they would come down and they'd pick up five, six, eight boxes for their, for their neighbors, right? Right, right, because they just can't afford sure. to keep coming just for exercise. You know? Right. <laughs> it doesn't work. So therefore, we have a 5,000 square foot building. Okay. That's what we've had. Located on Long Mesa? 8866 East Long Mesa. Yes. That's correct. And that has worked out. We thought when we moved in there, man, we are home free. Right. We'll never have to increase or anything else. Sure. But guess what? We're people-wise found out that we will help somebody or anybody. Right. No one leaves us without food. Yes. No one goes away hungry. And that's terrific. And so when it comes to the size you are in compared to other places in Yavapai County, are you the biggest? There is no others bigger than us. We are it. Right. We are the largest food bank in Yavapai County. That's correct. Probably some might say north of Anthem, you're probably the largest, right? North of the Phoenix area? Yes, right, right. Anything above uh, Cordes Junction or anywhere down below, Ash Fork. Gotcha. Ash Fork doesn't have, have hardly anything. Seligman don't pay up. None of those other small areas have pantries. And what people don't understand is you also, your facility has cold food that you give as well, right? You have a freezer and we, a walk-in freezer and a walk-in right, fridge. We've, we've had it all along. We've had a 12 by 20 cooler room and freezer. Okay. That gives us the ability to run our trucks, which are refrigerated, mm -hmm. and pick up frozen food, frozen meat, frozen items, gotcha. as well as keeping it all the produce in good shape. Yes, that's important. And we bring it in, and we can put it into these cooler rooms and the freezer room. And that way, we don't have to worry about people getting sick with our food. Right. But we've grown, okay. and we keep growing. Yes. Coronavirus hasn't done us anything. No. That has not slowed us down. Gotcha. You know, elderly people, they don't want to go to the store. Mm -hmm. They feel comfortable with us and our operation. Gotcha. So we added a new building. Yes. We've got the building almost done. It's 4,900 square feet. New building, 4,900 square feet. Just about, almost double from what you had. Right. We couldn't go five. Okay. If we went five, we had to put sprinkler systems. Right. System. Can you imagine sprinkler systems in a canned good area? <laughs> yeah, we, we don't want that. We would have a lot of secret cans to give people. Sure. So therefore, we put in a 20 by 20 cooler room and a 20 by 20 freezer room. Great. You know, with Thanksgiving coming, yes, we're going to have 2,500 turkeys. So we're going to talk about that. You put together a, a turkey box for families. That's what we, you, you've been there on that. Yeah, so I'm going, to, I'm going to be putting it on my calendar once you let me know when that is, and I'll be yeah. down there helping out. Yeah, we're going to be, we, everybody 
gets that comes and signs up get a turkey box yes with a turkey in it right thank goodness to the chamber here mm -hmm. they help us with putting together the flying high turkey drive yes they do a huge turkey drive um, last year it was at Fry's. I'm sure yeah. you'll see it. Marnie Yule from the Chamber of Commerce. She'll get up there on a fire truck, boom right, truck, and go right. up above. Hopefully it rains and snows. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to let her know you said that, Bob. I do it every year, and she says, I hate you. I hate you. <laughs> but you know, they're wonderful people. Absolutely. And, uh, and the Fry's stores, all of them, all the Fry's stores, and Safeway. Yes. Even is coming, has been helping along too. Nice. So it makes it a real community thing. Absolutely. This is not, you have a pie food bank. No, no, no. We don't do anything. I mean, really. Oh, I wouldn't say we that. Allow, we allowed all the businesses sure. to work with us. We allow all the people that are in the Tri-City area and you have a pie county right. to help us, you know. A lot of people don't realize it costs money mm -hmm. to run an operation. Absolutely. So how many people do you serve roughly? Do you count by the day or do you count by the week? How do you By the week. By the week. So how many families do you serve or how many boxes do you give out per week? Well, let's go people. Let's go people. Okay. About 800. About 800 people benefit from what yeah. you do over there. That's right. And that's, I mean, that's amazing. And I've seen it. I've seen it firsthand, folks. And if you haven't, you got to show up and... Just experience what you have going on there because it is truly amazing. Anyone who would like to see our operation, okay. call us. Yes. Tell us when you can come and we'll tell you when we can handle it with no problem. And the phone number they're going to call is that 928-775-5255? That's correct. Let them know, hey, I would like to maybe like get a to tour. I'd like to come down and look through your place. Okay. Or I'd like to come down and, and maybe sit on a table there with yes. us with you know i'll set people there i set them you eating. there you had me sitting there you've had me getting food trucking around food delivering right. food oh, yeah yeah no absolutely uh, you uh, uh you run a tight ship over there we try to a clean ship yes no absolutely that's the I idea it is always clean no that's terrific and we have uh your sanitizer bottles are scattered around for people to put on their hands. Sure. We have anyone that's handling the food back in the back wear a mask. Mm -hmm. uh, it's well, a well-run operation. Absolutely. Do you have a Facebook page, Bob? Are you guys on Facebook? Oh, yeah. We are on Facebook and we're on, I don't know. I've got a Lynn that our handles all our yeah. computer stuff and she puts our programs up all the time. We'll have that information up on the screen so folks make sure you check them out on Facebook. Email address is on there as well as give Bob a call and uh, so he can give you a, a tour and I cannot emphasize enough how amazing it is when you go down there. You're there, people come in, they truly, this is something that they look forward to um, because it's something that maybe you and I may take for granted but these folks rely on people like Bob and what they have going on to feed their families. So it's so important. We also do other little things. Yeah, let's hear it. We also give out hygiene items. Okay. And we give out, that's by request. And we give out baby diapers when we have them, laundry soap and other household items when we have them. Mm -hmm. We have a free table out there for stuff that's just come in. Yeah. We put it out there for the people to help themselves clean the, the free table. We give dog food, nice. cat food. Great. Uh, we're not holding it just to, you get some food and that's it, goodbye. Mm -hmm. You got to remember, we did go to the Prescott College. We got the nutritionist there Yes. say, this is a nutritious box. Okay for the ages groups, different age groups. Right. We don't give pablum to seniors, we give cereal to children, yes. milk, items of that nature. We have a card system as you've seen, mm -hmm. and this card system is A, B, C, D, it gives us the ages of the people. Right. So that we, when they fill a box, it's a good nourishing box. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just share a story, Bob, 
Uh, I'm sure you hear this all the time, and it's actually a story I tell people when I talk about you, because I think what you're doing over there on Long Mesa is amazing. And it was one of the times I was there volunteering, and uh, a mom comes up, and she has her little she, six, seven-year-old daughter was with her, and uh, she kind of whispers and says, hey, it's my daughter's birthday next week. Oh, yeah. Can we get a cake? You'll get, sure we enough, will, we'll get her a birthday we cake. We got her a birthday cake, and the look on her daughter's face was truly ecstatic, as if we had just, it was Christmas morning to her. Right. Like she was yeah. getting a birthday cake. Oh, yeah. And that is so, I mean, so amazing. And it's So it's, many it's, people don't to realize you. how great that is. Yes. That's like my kids that come to my table. Uh-huh. And I got a lot of them. Mm-hmm. And guess what? They want candy. Uh-huh. They can't, the parents can't afford buying candy and stuff. Sure. So I keep a little box of candy there and I give them candy. And I guarantee you, it don't even make it out the door. Oh, no. It's, uh, again, <laughs> the things that we take for granted, Bob. That's exactly right. And you are truly doing an amazing job. And, and you take donations. We are, we, that's what keeps us going. That's all you get. You don't get federal funding or no anything. No federal funding of any kind whatsoever. And we are strictly... Uh, customer oriented mm -hmm. and I'll tell you a secret do you have any idea what we run that on a, on donations what percentage we run that place on that doesn't go out for food and necessary I have no idea five percent five percent is your number that's for the gas to run the trucks our insurance and the okay. lights and the yeah. gas we manage it on five percent so people can reach out Folks, you're a 501c3? We're a 501c3 nonprofit. That's correct. So they could donate to you. They can get a little tax credit. Oh, yes. Come they, tax could, time. they could go the 800 yes. or the 400. Right. No problem. Yes. That's up, you know, until April 15th. Yes. They get it in. That takes right off their taxes. Right. And uh, it goes such a long way, though. I cannot emphasize <laughs> enough how important it is. So if you have a little bit of money to give come the end of the year and you want to save on some taxes, Reach out. Bob will be able to set you up with what you need. One more thing. Yes. The building is paid for. Okay. We have donors who have donated to cover that building. So that's just, just amazing. That is absolutely shocking to me. We had one little lady. I mean, she just, she could hardly walk. Mm -hmm. She was so old. And she came in. And she said, I have a donation. It was $50,000. Wow. And I said, that's fantastic. She said, was there any way you could put my a plaque up that I donated 50000 for the freezers? I said, it's already, I'll have it made tomorrow. <laughs> no kidding. Well, that's terrific. But that's what we have. Yes. We have people who are wonderful. Absolutely. And that's how we've been able to build this place is because of the donations that people are willing to see that we do not take it and pocket it. So just to recap, Bob, you're giving out boxes Monday to Friday. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. That's correct. Is when you're giving out boxes, you're giving out to over 800, 800 people are benefiting from this, roughly, give or take. A week. And then also, uh, we're looking at Thanksgiving turkey boxes coming out. That's going to be... 2,500 boxes. 2,500 boxes. Uh, will go out before we're done. And you folks will be able to pay more attention. We'll have more information about that on our website, on my Facebook page. Uh, we'll talk a lot more about that as we get a little closer. You're going to need lots of volunteers to help out with that. Oh, yeah. We have the church out at Living Faith. Yes. They help us with it. Sure. They have the facilities we didn't have before. Mm -hmm. they, have, they have had the facilities. And they put the boxes itself together. And it's everything in there that you would have at a Thanksgiving dinner. Oh, I've seen them. You got pumpkin pie, pie. we got turkey, we got stuffing, we got, we got everything. We got oh, yeah. vegetables, mashed potatoes, mashed potatoes, you name it. Gravy. Yes. Uh, the cool whip for the pumpkin no, pie. No, it is, a, it is it, everything. And it is truly, truly amazing what you do. Well, it, it's something that we... I, I, I don't live on hamburgers and hot dogs. Okay. I, don't, I mean, I'm not that way. I really not. Sure. I like food, good food. And therefore, that's why we are so hard-nosed that the people should get 
some vegetables and some Absolutely. produce. And, and I agree. The whole ball of wax. And like you say, a cake if it's your birthday. Cake if it's your birthday. <laughs> and even if it's not, you get some cupcakes. You get everything there. Oh, so. yes. yes. And so if anyone wants to volunteer, they're going to reach out to you. If anyone wants to see a tour, we're going to have them reach out to you as well. Plus, if they want to donate, we're going to have them reach out. That's right. They, and we can donate online. Donate if, online. Yeah, they can call at 775-5255-928. Yes. And ask for Ann. Okay. She's on the computer all day long. All right. And she'll take your donations right there and mail you a receipt right back. Terrific. So it's 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 not e it's not hard. It's an easy operation. No, no, absolutely. So we're wrapping up, Bob. Is there anything you want to just finish up with and let our, our viewers know? Well, I want to thank you and I, and the city for knowing that we are there. Yes. And accepting us as a business. Mm -hmm. And we want to thank all of the donors that have donated to us in the past. They're wonderful, and we sure appreciate it. Nice. There you have it, folks. Please, if you haven't realized where they're at, they're over there on Long Mesa Drive, right off of Robert Road. And uh, be sure to reach out to them. They could use your help, and uh, the citizens of Yavapai County certainly uh, uh, appreciate that. So, folks, have a great time, and uh, we'll talk to you soon, and see you next time.